about that gals and gals and gals and a couple of guys I'm just having a joke although I am sounding like Ringo Starr and David Bowie after a Parkinson's induced stroke grabbing this dong cigar and taking a toke I'm a parody of a parody of a parody of a bloke I would probably say sorry to my family for it's them that's left to pick up the pieces when testimonies are made when someone deceases Whilst the stories circulate and the rumours of gropes, it's the biggest abuse of power since the Popes. Who knew what went on inside this head of mine? Who knows if I even saw it as a crime? I mean, I kept it secret, but who the fuck wouldn't suspected of abusing children by the dozen? Presently, suspected is the word key in all this, although the pile up evidence is a bit too large to just dismiss. But was I like Jacko, who was weird but endeared and despite suspected victims didn't seem to have it in him, although I fear I may have a longer list of sins than even him. But if I were a bystander writing a commentary on this, it is on the fence that I would sit, well, not so much sit, but crouch near a bit. Cause at least till concrete proof came out as truth, cause to tarnish a name frivolously is a shawaddy thing to do, unless it's true. So I've claimed to be bulletproof because of the sheer amount of work for charity I was known to do and being mates with Maggie didn't arm too but even the BBC when I was on TV raised this now famous issue with me TV shows about yours truly were pulled out of respect for my memory I don't want to turn this into something of a conspiracy however don't it sound like TV bosses allowed this downward spiral of infant misery to be portrayed and be persisted on by me quietly anyway Let's not get bogged down in this pedo nonsense, excuse the pun and don't get vexed. Cause it's on Halloween, we spare a thought for our deceased eccentrics. Although I'm not sure I can claim to have led my life as a treat or a trick. Edmonds and Beadle couldn't disguise the shit that I led my life doing as I saw fit. But it's innocent till proven guilty. And whilst the media attention's unhealthy, it is highlighting an issue that would have only lay stealthy. Providing victims with a platform through which to discuss their disgust and eventual mistrust is not only a bonus but a must. Let's hope the folks that came forward's bravery is rewarded with the appropriate level of care and where necessary psychiatry. So there are a few signs which suggested untoward behaviour from me, like when I stood up for Gary, glitter that is. Which, as far as suspicion goes, I'd say look very, although it doesn't prove I would have top of the pop to your cherry. They say Jim will fix it, and I hope I did, you can ask any, but I'm sure I won't leering over them all, if any. Well, many. Although it does give you food for thought when someone so trusted turns out to be more than a little strange, and not greatly adjusted. There's been a lot said about me counteracting my charity but when he is guilty fuck him and fuck the memory of him so whilst a certain level of misogyny was the zeitgeist at the time that is no excuse to live your life like a non-age specific skeletal champ kind other large names get dragged in the ice gets thin the situation's like a morose facebook photo no one wants to get tagged in yet it happens as well as the perpetrators it's the blind eye turners that i'm sure become guilt bearers Esther Ransom being the first, the name claimed and shamed high earners. But there was the little people, where coming forward was said to be feeble. Career suicide, not sure who tried, but surely worth the martyrdom. But who can truly say if they were there, they'd have led the way and actually would have done. The charity work that this predator undertook should not be misunderstood as penance to the masses. I mean, would you excuse Hitler, because he instigated heart bypasses, and the irony has not gone unseen that this ghoul was born on Halloween. Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd have the ghost taken care of. It's false idols like Savile you may need to be aware of. Ugh.